In this video, we will show you how to configure your Asset Protect to provide different access rights to your customers. As an MSP, it's important that you initially set up the cooperation with your customers and their IT teams effectively, so that the interaction flows are as automated as possible. At the end of the day, that's what helps you to be efficient and grow your profitability. Some customers don't need access, some would like to only see the basic stuff and some would like to co-manage their environment. Asset Protect's comprehensive role-based access control provides flexibility in various types of management and, at the same time, makes sure that customers can only do and see what you will allow them to and won't mess with your environment. Let's take a look at how it's done. In general, access rights deal with users and their permissions in Asset Protect Web Console. In on-premises Asset Protect, users are created directly in the Web Console. Users for Asset Protect Cloud, on the other hand, are created and primarily managed in Asset MSP Administrator or Asset Business Account. Subsequently, the user accounts are mapped in Asset Protect Cloud Web Console. Permission sets define what the user can do or see in the Web Console. Asset Protect allows setting up permission sets with a high degree of granularity. In MSP world, we usually recognize two types of custom users. The first one is the reviewer, a user that only has the read access. The user can see the status of the computers in the network and optionally generate reports, but otherwise they are not allowed to take any action. The other one is the co-manager, a user that has strong permissions that allow them to actively participate and assist the MSP admin in the management of their company network. As you will see in the following demo, permission sets for these two types of users are defined quite differently. First, we will log in to Asset MSP Administrator web portal and create two user accounts. The first user is Colors Reviewer. In EMA, they will only have read access to company Colors Limited. For Asset Protect Cloud Access, we choose the option Custom Access. Their access will be defined later via permission sets in Asset Protect Cloud Web Console. The second user is Pets Co Manager. In EMA, they will only have write access to company Pets and Co. As in the previous case, the access rights for the Asset Protect Cloud will be defined later on in the Asset Protect Cloud Web Console. The new user accounts are waiting for activation. Both users receive account activation emails and after confirmation, their accounts are active. Open the Asset Protect Cloud Web Console. Now we will map the created user accounts and assign specific permission sets to them. In the main menu, navigate to Access Rights, Users. Add new users from the mapped Asset MSP Administrator account. First, add the user Colors Reviewer. As the home group for the user, choose the static group Colors. In the Permission Sets section, assign two predefined permission sets. Reviewer Permission Set and Permission Set for Shared Static Groups. Shared static groups are specific static groups that serve for sharing of objects between MSP admin and customer users. Subsequently, add the second user, Pets Co Manager. Obviously, their home group will be the static group Pets. In the Permission Set section, assign two predefined permission sets. In this case, we choose Write Permission Set for Pets and Co and permission set for shared static groups. Now let's check the individual settings in selected permission sets. First, the reviewer permission set. In static group section, remove the default static group all and choose the static group colors. This is very important because otherwise the colors reviewer will see everything, all computers and other objects also from different MSP customers. Obviously that's undesirable. Colors reviewers should only see the computers in their customer static group. Proceed to functionality part. Because this is a reviewer permission set, only read permissions are granted for all functionality. 
In general, the only permission that the Colors Reviewer inevitably needs is read permission for groups and computers. This permission allows them to review the status of their computers. OK, now let's see the settings in the permission set of Shared Static Group. Obviously, Shared Object Static Groups are selected there. In the Functionality section, Read and Use Access is granted for various types of objects. In this place, only Read Permission for Reports and Dashboard is suitable and necessary for the reviewer user. This allows generating reports, which facilitates monitoring of the status of the network. Access to other objects is not needed or even undesirable for reviewer role. Next, have a look at the settings in the permission set that was assigned to Pets Co Manager. This is a strong permission set granting read, use, and write permissions basically for everything. This will allow full management of objects in the static groups Pets and Co. Finally, in the permission set of shared static group for Pets Co Manager, Read and Use Access is granted for various types of objects. We can keep the settings as they are, because Co-Manager will need Use Access to different types of objects we will share with them. Not just to the reports as the Colors Reviewer. Write Access, which allows modifying or even deleting objects, is not desirable. In the following part, we will share selected objects with the Reviewer and Co-Manager and this way grant access to these objects. In the Report section, move the Antivirus Detections category of Report Template to Shared Objects Static Group. Then do the same for Computers category of Report Templates. In the Tasks section, move the Prepared Product Activation task to Shared Objects. Eventually, move the Special Endpoint Policy from the list of policies. And now we have everything set up and ready. New user accounts, their permissions, and also a few shared objects. Log out of the web console. Let's log in as Colors Reviewer and see how the applied permissions affect the web console. In the Computers section, the customer user is correctly allowed to only see their computers. Computers belonging to other MSP customers are invisible. In the context menu for the computer, reviewer's options are very limited because of missing use and write permissions in the reviewer permission set. In the report section, only two shared categories of report templates are available. Colors reviewer can easily generate reports because the respective read permission is granted. Other parts of the web console, like tasks, policies and notifications, are empty for this user. Although we have shared one client task and one policy, Colors Reviewer does not even have the read permission to see these shared objects. The user is also not allowed to create any own object, like new tasks or policies, because in the Reviewer permission set, they have read permission only. Creating new objects requires the write permission. Back in the dashboard, we can see that Colors Reviewer can access reports that we have shared, and so they can monitor the status of their network. Now log out of the web console and log in as the co-manager user. Because this user has quite strong permissions, the startup wizard appears after the first login. Startup wizard simplifies the deployment of EM agents to computers in the network. We will skip it. Just like the reviewer, also Pets co-manager can only see their computers. Computers belonging to other MSP customers are invisible. Also, in the Report section, only two shared categories of report templates are available. Co-manager can easily generate reports, but in contrast to Reviewer, their permissions also allow creating of their own report templates. In the Tasks section, we can see the Shared Product Activation task. Co-manager with use permissions for shared objects can trigger the task on client computers, but they are not allowed to edit or delete the task. For these actions, write permission is required. Moreover, full access in the static group Pets & Co. permits creating new tasks. Similarly, in the Policy section, Co-Manager can change the assignment of the shared endpoint policy. However, due to the missing write permission, he cannot edit or delete the policy. 
Full access in the static group Pets and Co. permits creating new policies. Back in the dashboard. The reports that we have shared are available for the Pets Co. Manager, and so they can monitor the status of their network. For more details on the tricky topic of access rights in Asset Protect, visit our online help and knowledge base.